Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com. This is where entrepreneurs of six, seven, eight figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Check out Rise25.com. It's run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only. Today we have David Rabbi, who's founder of Tovala. Tovala, it's, it's amazing. Tovala is a smart oven that's paired with a meal delivery service. And essentially, you have to watch the video on Tovala.com, but you get a fresh, healthy, packaged meal delivered. You scan it, you pop it in the smart oven, and it knows the precise time and method to cook to perfection. It could be broiling, baking, steaming, or convection. And I'm glad that you guys have those choices because I don't even know when I, when I turn my oven on which one I'm supposed to do. So it's good. It just does it for you. They sold 250,000 worth of Tovala ovens on Kickstarter, 100,000 of that in one day. And they won the University of Chicago New Venture Challenge in 2015. To date, they've raised over $700,000. David, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited. Since it's Inspired Insider, David, I always ask, what's been the lowest moment and how you push through? And again, like you choose doing a business that has three different businesses combined. <laughs> and then on the flip side, what's been the proudest moment? Start with what's been the lowest and how you push through. Uh, I think the the lowest moment, it wasn't one specific moment, but it was at some point. You know, like it's summer. everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was at some point in the summer of 2015 after we'd won the New Venture Challenge and I was going across the country trying to raise money and it was a huge struggle. It yeah. was really, really difficult and um, you know, the new venture challenge has kind of risen in prominence in the Midwest because companies like Grubhub and Braintree have won them. And the winner last year, Simple Mills, who's a great friend of mine, she's doing amazing. And, uh, you know, I felt like there was a lot of pressure and I had to live up to expectations having yeah. won this competition. But I'd go across the country and, you know, some of the criticisms we talked about was stuff that I was hearing and nobody was going to give us money. Mm. And I just, I didn't know how we were going to get the business built. Um, so, so that was probably the lowest point, uh, you know, at, at this point last year, roughly. Um, Did you have a figure in mind? Like I need X amount to yeah. for salary and for tooling and whatever. What did you want to raise at that point? The, the challenge was that it was, the tech was kind of an unknown because I didn't have someone on my team that really yeah. understood it inside out and could do accurate forecasting. Yeah. So we were going off of the quotes that some of these product development firms had given us. Yeah. The quotes were all somewhere between half a million to a million dollars. Wow. And so we were looking for a million and a half to, to fund that piece and then everything else that had to happen with the business. And um, who was on the team at that point when you were going across the country? It was just you. Wow. So how do you keep motivated when you're getting no after no? Uh, I think because so many people had helped me get to that point and, you know, we, we had the support of so many people that no wasn't really an option, not yeah. at that point. You know, maybe if it had taken a year and I still hadn't gotten any commitments, then at that point maybe I would have given up. But, you know, it, it didn't cross my mind at any point, you know, months after we won the competition to stop. How long after did you finally get a yes? So we got, we got some yeses. I don't, you know, I don't want to paint like a completely dire picture. We got some yeses, you know, weeks or a month after. But it was surprisingly, even though we got some yeses, continuing to get yeses was not easy. Um, so we kind of hit a point where I was not getting big commitments. I wasn't getting kind of a large lead investor. Um, and that was holding everything up. Yeah, yeah. So what's been the proudest moment for you? Oh, that's a great question. Um, Either the, the first night of the Kickstarter where, mm. you know, it's kind oh, of yeah. big unveiling to the world, like here's who we are and, you know, the feedback was so positive. Yeah, it's, it's like people think, oh, this just happened. Right. You probably spent six months trying to get Business Insider and you're on TechCrunch and you're on all these different right. mediums, you know, mediums. Right. You know, yeah, it, just, it, was, it just doesn't happen. It was, a t I mean, it, arguably it was over a year because I, what I tell everyone is, you know, when I was in business school working on this, 
I told everyone what I was doing. And I took it, took the business through many classes where we used the, the business as our case study. Yeah. And so either directly or indirectly, I felt like a lot of people were somewhat invested in what I was doing because yeah. I was kind of one of the few crazy people from my class to launch their own business. And those are all people, whether they bought or not, that shared and told other people about like, what I remember doing. he brought this up in yeah, class. Exactly. And, and, yeah, exactly. And, and I think they feel a measure of pride too. It's like I was in the class with him. I helped on this project and now it's a real thing. I'm like, help them get funded. Yeah. And, and so, and we got a ton of personal messages the first couple of days we launched, which was like, Hey, you know, I'm so proud of you. And, and whether it was friends or family and, and that was for everyone on our team, not just me. So that was one particular moment. And then kind of recently over the last couple of months, as I look around the office and see, you know, what a year ago was me traveling with this giant prototype, just me across the country getting right. nose. Now we've got this awesome office, which yeah. is one third engineering, one third kitchen, one third workspace, and we've got a team of ten, including our interns, and things are happening nonstop so fast. Yeah. It's it's pretty amazing to look around and take a step yeah. back. Yeah. What were you thinking when that first hundred thousand came through just in twenty four hours? We were we were just excited. We were really excited and but you know, we I was I was very conscious to take a take some time to celebrate and have fun, but I also wanted to make sure the momentum continued. And that it wasn't just flash in the pan one day and then we sink immediately after. And, and we were able to continue the momentum somewhat, especially through the first week. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you know, David, obviously I have to ask, anyone's watching the video, um, there's, I don't know, it's probably not a secret plan you said, but behind you, talk about a little bit what's on the whiteboard <laughs> behind you, the, the map. This is yeah. how you've mapped out the success of Tovala behind you. But no, 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 what, no. It's, this is... Uh, just us talking through the food logistics and, and the different partners that have to be involved and who's going to handle what piece of it and where it's going to happen and how that food will get out to different parts of the country. Yeah, yeah. Any last uh, parting words of advice or lessons from the journey so far, David? Uh, um, you know, I, I guess I like to tell people that I, I hope my story is um, – Yet another example that if you have a good idea, you believe in it, and people tell you that it's something that they want, that you just got to persevere, and you will continue to get no's. We get no's every day, um, but uh, you know if you keep at it, I think ultimately you'll be successful. Yeah. David, thank you. Everyone should check out Tovala.com. Fantastic. Great. Thank you for having me.